Hi, my name is Doug Baer and I'm coming to you from VMworld Barcelona and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about uh, the command center and the infrastructure that we use for the hands-on labs at VMworld Barcelona. If you look here, this is a vRealize operations dashboard. It's showcasing uh, all of our five clouds that we're using for the event. We have uh, two public clouds and three private clouds that we're showing right here. Uh, we're running uh, currently 11,721 virtual machines on 251 hosts. That's supporting the over 100 seats we have in the room. Uh, and due to our multi-cloud architecture, we can run any lab in the room from any station out of any of our clouds. Uh, using this dashboard, we can get an overall picture, and then we can drill into each of the clouds using the dashboards on the screen behind me. As you can see, everything's green, so, uh, so we're doing pretty well. Uh, out of our IBM cloud, which is one of our public clouds, we have 34 hosts. Uh, again, everything's running along nicely. Uh, of the VMware cloud on AWS, we have a one org VDC of 12 hosts that we're using to support this event. Uh, this cloud was built specially for this event. We had six org VDCs for the VMworld US event that we shut down and uh, basically reprovisioned for, for this time. Uh, this, uh, this dashboard shows our private cloud. So in this case, we have 202 hosts across three data centers. Our data centers are in Amsterdam, the uh, one in Washington in the US, and one in Santa Clara, California. Uh, one interesting thing about our Amsterdam data center is it is running a next generation of vSphere, so a product that hasn't been released to customers yet. Uh, we are stress testing that new version, finding any sort of bugs that might be present in that software, and giving that information back to engineering so they can improve the product before our customers see it. Uh, also interesting about that environment is it's running on the oldest hardware we have in the environment. So the servers in Amsterdam are somewhere between five and seven years old, but it's still performing well enough to host the event. Uh, as you can see here, this is a, a comparison of the public cloud and private cloud. Uh, the dip here shows a, a unique aspect of our workload where we basically drain all of our workloads from the clouds overnight at the end of the day, and then we reprovision them so that the users have fresh labs uh, coming for the next day. Uh, over here we have our, our Wavefront dashboard, which actually shows the last 90 days of labs that are being used uh, both online and in this room. Uh, you can see here that we kind of have a, a sawtooth type pattern, which is our weekly utilization. This big spike was VMworld in the US. And then this big spike was actually a vForum online. If you think about how we utilize our capacity, this would be the amount of capacity we need for our daily utilization. And then our spikes would be what we would use our public cloud capacity for. Uh, that way we're not paying for this level of utilization when we don't actually need it. So uh, we can see here in this Wavefront dashboard, Spain is coming online. So we've got this green bar where the users in this room are showing which, uh, which country the labs are coming from. So uh, that's about it. Uh, I'm Doug Baer from VMworld Barcelona. You can check out our labs online at labs.hol.vmware.com. Thank you.